Hi, this is Dave Liu with Guns.com, and today I'm shooting a beast, the Korth NXS 8-Shot 357 Magnum Revolver. Do you like revolvers? Because I love revolvers. I don't really know why either. Um, there's just something about them, right? The shape, maybe it's the feel, the nostalgia of watching old westerns. Honestly, they're actually kind of outdated when you think about modern handguns, the modern handgun landscape. Semi-autos outclass them in almost every practical category, right? Capacity, size, weight. In my opinion, really are only three relevant areas where they're still, you know, thought of as the top of the line, right? The handgun hunting, backwoods animal self-defense, and self-defense for people who can't manipulate semi-autos. But thankfully, we don't shoot for practicality alone. This is where revolvers return to the conversation. It's about the feel, it's about the aesthetics, and in those aspects, you really can't beat Korth revolvers. But before we get into all that, I want to tell you about a limited time special promotion on this very gun, valued at over $5,300. Thanks to a partnership between Guns.com and a veteran-owned small business, Get Entered to Win, this Korth NXS could be yours. Click on the link in the description to head over to GetEnteredToWin.com, purchase one of the limited edition Guns.com collectibles, and get an automatic chance to win. Proceeds not only go to help Guns.com's efforts to keep creating all this wonderful original content, but you also su are supporting an American veteran-owned small business. Remember, all you need to do is click on the link in the description, buy a collectible, and you are automatically entered to win in this promotion. It ends July 26. First, what is Korth? Korth is a German company that specializes in making high-end revolvers. They've been building guns since 1954, and they keep that tradition of quality that German engineering is known for. The American custom 1911 manufacturer, Nighthawk, is the importer and servicer of Korth in the United States. Now, Korth shares the same gun building philosophy as Nighthawk. One gun, one gunsmith. Meaning that one gunsmith assembles, fits, and is responsible for each revolver. This leads to impeccable craftsmanship and build quality. Now let's go over the specs. The entire gun is machined out of billet steel. It has an eight round capacity chamber. This one is chambered in 357 Magnum, which means it also is capable of shooting 38 Special. There is an option though for a nine millimeter cylinder that also holds eight rounds using moon clips. And the cylinder swap is stupid easy. It's actually a really great design. The cylinder release for reloading is an interesting design as well because it places the lever near the hammer. This makes it ambidextrous, which is kind of uncommon on most revolvers. Most revolvers is only on one side. The 416R steel hammer forged barrel is offered in either four or six inches. The one I shot was six inches. Around the barrel is a ventilated shroud, which they say assists in cooling, but I think really is just there to look cool. The rear sight is fully adjustable, both wind digit elevation, and the gold bead front sight comes with removable side panels, which you can use to either block the light or open it up so it's not you know, encumbering at all. There is a top Picatinny rail machined right into the shroud. The finish is a beautiful black DLC coating. And finally, it weighs in at 50.7 ounces, which is heavy, but it allows to handle 357 rounds very well. Now the two features I wanna highlight are the grip and the trigger. The grip is a Jim Wilson grip made of Turkish walnut. I would classify it as a target grip because it's optimized for shooting the gun fast and accurately and not really carrying. These grips are fantastic. In my humble opinion, the grips make or kill a revolver. And in this case, this one's pretty much perfect. It fills the hand and allows really great control. And the fullness of the grip allows the energy to be dissipated throughout your entire hand. The next critical factor on a revolver is the trigger. This one has probably the best revolver trigger I've ever felt. It's better than any custom Smith & Wesson I've ever handled. The double action is smooth and predictable, and it's not as long as a normal double action, in my opinion. I can shoot it fast and accurately. The single action pull is a crisp, like, snap. I mean, you really can't ask for more. They achieve this by using some kind of unique roller system. I'm not gonna pretend I really understand it, but the best thing about this trigger is that it's not only a great trigger, 
but it's incredibly customizable. The manual describes multiple ways to set both the double action and single action pulls individually to exactly how you want them. And I mean, it's not only the pull weight, but it's also the trigger stop and the pressure point, which is really how the trigger stacks and where the trigger stacks. Isn't that amazing? Now for the shooting experience. In short, superb. It's everything you want from a revolver. Solid, satisfying. The balance, it balances nicely in either one or two hands. Eight rounds just fly out of the gun. I could shoot this thing all day. It also proved incredibly accurate and 100% reliable. There are really only two cons that I could find. First is the price. At $5,300, it's a premium gun. But you get what you pay for in terms of fit and finish. It's basically a hand-built gun with a trigger that can be totally customizable. And if you think about it, it's not a completely outrageous price. If you consider that classic Colt Pythons can go for over $3,000 and that's used, this one kind of, you know, isn't really crazy. My second criticism is that the bottom Picatinny rail is a little too far forward if you want to light, attach a light or a laser. Now I understand it's really for attaching uh, a weight that is also sold on the course site, but if the rail went all the way back, it would just add a little bit more uh, versatility to the gun. In conclusion, this gun is a handmade work of art. Every inch shows attention to detail and every part is tight and locks up like a bank vault. I mean, just look at it. The NXS would shine in any display case or movie set for that matter, but you got the engineering build quality to make it a real workhorse. So if you like revolvers and you want something unique, don't overlook Korth revolvers. In addition, if you are very particular about your revolver triggers and want something that you can tune exactly to how you like it, I think Korth really is the only option out there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I love being able to bring you innovative firearms. So what do you think? Do you like high-end revolvers? Are they impractical or works of art? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. It really helps and allows us to give you more great content. Finally, if you like this content, please consider supporting this channel by clicking on the link and purchasing a limited edition collectible. You will be helping us out and you might win a Korth revolver. The promotion ends July 26th.